The winter arc is now over, summer is near, and it is time to get ready. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through my whole summer season protocol. This is the next season that I'm going through after my 75 hard. I'm gonna go through my entire split for the summer season, getting me shredded and ready to enjoy summer as much as I can. The philosophy of this whole plan is pretty much intensity, consistency, and then smashing compound lifts for the big exercises, and then doing more isolation and more frequent workouts for the smaller muscle groups, but then also with a focus on running as well, which I'll get into true athletic ability and protection. These are all the focuses of this program. All of those things I just mentioned, trying to make you a more aesthetic and athletic athlete. This entire program is made for hybrid athletes, trying to increase strength, size, speed. So trying to get quicker, better running, better lifting, look bigger, look better. And this whole program will be linked down in the description for totally free. So go click on the link right now, see if you're interested, but I'm gonna speak through the whole thing right now. If you click on the link in the description below, it will have the whole split that you can use. It'll make it really easy for you to use and there'll be extra information as well so you can learn some more through the product. So try that now, first link in the description. All right, let's go straight into it. Monday, first day, is an ab session. Start with the abs, bear with, it's not day one like abs, right? Because it's a circular program, like you obviously Sunday, you go on to the next day. So the way it works out, the way I've structured it, is Monday is kind of a rest day-ish because sun, the weekend you kind of go hard, hard on the weekend. So Monday is kind of a rest day. So right here, I've got abs. So I've got banded Nordics, which isn't really abs, but it's like recovery kind of stuff. So a Nordic curl, hamstring thing. It's pretty cool. I definitely recommend doing it. Really helps out your knees and general just like overall kind of like strength and well-being. So then I've got lower leg raises, dragonflies, and bar hangs. A couple lower ab exercises, something which I know is really weak for me. I don't train it, and I know it's been, a, and it's been a reason why I've had like lower back problems, and just like not been performing my best. Lower abs have a lot to do with it. Lower ab, hip flexors, hips, all of that have a huge kind of determining factor on your performance and how you feel, like feeling stiff and kind of sore. You know, just being like fluid, mobile, all of that. Is really good, can be improved easily by doing these lower ab exercises. I also do tennis on a Monday, so I've got a sport day as well on, on Monday. And when you get the program, you can either do any sport or just kind of not do anything, maybe just go for a walk. I've gotten used to having tennis on a Monday because I've been doing it for years now. So it's kind of just something that is like in my routine. But if you do a different sport, add that in, or if not, just go for a walk or just take a chill bit. Tuesday, let's go, big session here. Upper calisthenics is what I've called it. But I mean, I did this session yesterday and it was totally pissing it down. So I didn't want to get the calisthenic bars out. So I kind of like swapped in some exercises, which I'll show you how. <laughs> so I start the session off with some big chin-ups. I'm loving chin-ups at the moment. You know, just like really grinding out the sets. They're so hard, like three or four reps in, it's like so difficult, but I'm like keeping going until I get 10, like really pushing the reps. So if, say if I got like eight, I'll take a little bit of a break, shake my arms out and go again, get another one, do the same thing, get another 10th rep, get to the final 10. Like really kind of push it. We're going, as a hybrid athlete, intensity is key. If you do too much volume, you'll do, you'll, you'll like, it'd be so hard for you to keep up and recover and make gains and you'll end up like getting injured. So intensity is great, it's efficient, which is awesome and you make a lot more gains as a natural. Volume is key to people who are on steroids. That's not us. Hybrid athletes, we're not just trying to get as big as possible. We're trying to optimize our life, get as big as we can naturally. So intensity is our best friend. And that's gonna be a staple for every single exercise that we do in this. Consistency times intensity, that's what we want. So chin-ups for the back, then we'll move into a big chest movement. So either, if it's calisthenics, it'll be deep bar press-ups, you know, on the bars, like getting really, really low. Or if it's not, you're not doing on the bars, just do bench press or incline press, something you can easy set up, get some big reps in, simple. Move on then, do another accessory back movement. So I'll do horizontal rows on the cable machine or underside bar rows like Aussie pull-ups, I think they call them because you're like upside down. And then superset that with some shoulder press. I like to do heavy shoulder press. It's been really good for my shoulder growth. Just been like heavy shoulder press from like six to eight reps. So I'm going for, I know you're looking at me like, what the hell? Like I thought we we're training for aesthetics mainly. You're right. And this has really helped with the size of my shoulders. So getting heavy shoulder pressing and then in the next set it's three sets of lateral raises going for a hypertrophy focus so 10 to 15 reps is the aim for the lateral raises and then you're going one maybe two heavy sets of shoulder press eight to six with the back i'm going a little bit more simple just doing your normal two or three sets of 10 to 12 reps high intensity going to failure just doing a horizontal pull with the chin-ups 
doing a, doing a vertical pull with the chin ups, doing a horizontal pull with the rows, and then doing a pullover. Really good, like kind of like mid back, just like pulling down. Really nice, like connection there. And for the finisher, after those two exercises, then getting through this workout, then move on to some accessories. So just doing an incline bicep curl and a tricep extension superset. You know, just to finish off the arms because obviously big arms, right? Big arms. And that is the end of the Tuesday upper session. That's a really great session. I mean, it looks like there's a lot in there. One hour, done, all right? It's the intensity. Not too many sets for each exercise. Bang it out, and it's just incredible. Wednesday, let's go. This is legs. I'm gonna be doing like a lot of like muscle building, endurance building, strength building, but also protection, so ATG. If you know ATG, I might make a video about my ATG journey in the future. But ATG is like protection, you know, like making sure your joints are all good, explosivity, like jumping, plyometrics, all that kind of stuff. It's like becoming a true athlete. So I'll start my session with a skip, you know, just getting warmed up. It's really nice. Back to those banded Nordic curls on the hamstrings. At the moment, I've got a setup where I've getting the got like a, a bench press that I'm lying on, get my heels tucked in, and then attach a resistance band to the ceiling of my shed, hoop myself in it, and then just kind of Nordics. I'll show a video on screen right now, help you out with, if you don't know what it is. Then I'll move on to some split squats, right? Doing 20 kg, just one handed. I'm kind of getting back into like squats mainly. A while ago, I kind of was like ego lifting with squats. Like this is like 18 months ago, I was ego lifting with squats. Really did in my lower back, just trying to get in like big numbers. Really wasn't worth it. I can tell you from experience, it's not worth it. So I'm kind of going back to basics, doing the split squat, because that's like nicer on my lower back. And I'm doing like eight reps, no matter if it's failure or not. Obviously increase the weight as we go along, but then I'm gonna do five more, or as many as I can kind of do, explosive jump reps from the same place. So one-legged right here. So I've got my, do my weighted sets of split squats. Once I've done the eight reps, I'll drop the weight and then two like jumps to like, to really burn out the muscle afterwards and give me some plyometric points as well. Then we'll move on to hip, hip flexor pulls. Absolutely incredible, love them. Hip thrusters as well, I'm trying to increase the strength of my glutes because I feel like that's a problem I've had as well. Weak glutes, not training glutes, not too good. Sissy squats, tib raises, and calf raises if I've got time. All just great exercise, like, there's not much to say about it. Get the plan, <laughs> explains all of the plan, it's, it's phenomenal. Then move on to Thursday, we just hit two sessions totaling full body. So now we're gonna have an arms and recovery day. So we're just gonna like do a little bit of a warm up, do some basic push and pull ups, and then just get some blood flow into the arms, do some bicep curls, try some extensions, lateral raises, you know, super set of them all, kind of get them all together, and then just do a stretch routine, stretch routine for about 30 to 40 minutes. So this is good, like getting some more size in your arm because your arms are small, because they're smaller muscle group, you don't hit them as hard. They recover quicker, and you can do a couple more sessions a week. So we've got three arm sessions this week, and then yeah, stretch routine to finish off that session. All right, now we move on to Friday, which is the day that some of you will love and some of you will hate. It's the first run day. I know there's some of you in here who will be like, came here, for getting shredded for summer, you know, they thought I'd like, just reduce calories, keep lifting hard, that would all be it. And then thought running with cardio, running and cardio would just kill all your gains, you know, ruin all the progress you made. Well, I'm here to tell you, that's false, right? I was once bogged down by all of those like notions and now I'm the complete opposite. I'm running like all the time and I, I'll, I'll make a video on it at some point, but it's just like totally changed my life. So if this is just the one time you need to try it, don't just try one run, honestly, try two, go slow, go longer, and try it. I guarantee afterwards you'll feel, you'll, you'll love it. During, you won't, I mean, like, no one loves running until they start running. So just try it. I've got this scheduled on Friday, zone two to three. Which is pretty relaxed, you know, it's conversational pace. 10K plus, lovely. Don't go 10K plus if you haven't run before. Just go maybe like six or seven, just a little bit over that 5K, which is the typical distance. But yeah, running shred body fat i mean it did wonders for me when i first started i got absolutely shredded and it was crazy like I had a lovely summer not because of it i'm not saying not because of getting shredded but it was just really nice and you know, i just felt really good the sun felt so nice just being like shredded confident like all of that so nice and now over the winter obviously i bulked up a little bit you know i'm excited to do the running again reduce the calories a little bit and then just get shredded again and I'll get onto the protocol non-negotiables in a second, but they're like the holistic things which kind of go with all of this, which I'll explain, and that'll make all the difference after doing all of these things. Saturday, penultimate session of the week, upper and arms, basically a full upper body session, smashing upper body, 
it's pretty crazy. It's a good session. It's just the weekend, so you've got a little bit more time. If you're going to school or work or something, you won't have that to worry about. So per personally for me, I love it. Doing a little bit longer on the weekends, taking a little bit more time between sets and everything, making more, giving my brain a little bit more space. It's lovely. I'll show this on screen right now. This is the session. Pause it right now. But once again, it's in the program and it's going to be sick because there's going to be so much value for you to get from this. But it's pretty much chest push, shoulder push, back pull, horizontal and vertical. And then the accessories, lateral raises, push downs, bicep curls, all of that was structured really well. So you know exactly what to do. Really simple. And then we move on to Sunday, final day. It's a long run, 10K plus. Big old stretch afterwards, 30 minutes or so. It's like a weekend reset. It's lovely, you know, stretching while you're warm is great. So after a run, it's so nice. You really make some progress, like stretching. 10K, maybe 15K plus, depending on how you're feeling. Maybe go a little bit less, depending on how you're feeling. You know, just play by ear, just have a good run. Go a bit of distance, you know, clear your mind. Get some zone twos in, shred some body fat, and it's lovely. Now, we move on to the final section, which is the protocol non-negotiables. These are the eight holistic habits that will make all of this so worth it great you get you great results it will like naturally enhance you you'll be insane like you're making you'll be making gains you never thought you could have made in such quicker time than you thought as well i'm going to show you them now obviously once again they're all in the program fully explained i can't encourage that enough go get it it's just, it's free simple it's through gumroad you get notion you get access to this notion program which i'm showing you right now and here it is sun obviously consuming it work out in it I've got some calisthenic sessions, which I've just said, structured to be outside, getting the sun. Vitamin D, obviously getting a little bit of tan is lovely, but vitamin D is the main focus there. Sun is just healing. Don't go in for too long. You don't want to burn. Don't go for too long. But if you do it enough, a little bit a day, every day, if the sun's out, of course, in England, it's not great right now. But if it is, Go for it, consume it, work out on it, get the morning sun, get the evening sunset, try and work out in that, it's lovely. Creatine, I'm doing this again, I was off it for about a year, reload phase, every day, back on it, having that with some salt and some protein shake, that's the mega shake, I'm loving it, As you know, it's great. Sweat, work hard, you know, go for hard hard runs, hard workouts, you know, make do yourself proud with the amount of effort you're putting into this, you'll get more results if you try harder, it's simple. Protein, a lot, simple have some meats, you know, have some have some protein powder, but try getting from natural sources, meats, fish, chicken, lamb, meats, meat, meat, you know, just have some meat, I guess, <laughs> you know, it's, it is really good, high protein diet, even if you're not into the gym, high to protein diet is literally so beneficial for everyone. Clean food, moving on, like similar to the meat, just having like, before I'd be having like processed rice, you know, like quick two minute like microwave packet rices, but now I'm focusing much more on like natural baked potatoes, cooking them, mixing them up with my stir fry, so much better, I feel so great for doing it. It's like little things like that, you know, having some spinach, broccoli, all of that, like natural whole foods, incredible. Next one, sleep, eight hours, no more, no less. Obviously like seven hours, 55 or eight minutes and five minutes, eight hours and five minutes, it's fine. But if you're sleeping like nine hours, sometimes you wake up feeling like spaced and seven hours you feel like depleted, all of that. So just try and like get in the middle, eight hours, it's perfect. The last two go together, stay consistent and follow the plan. Use the structure, use the time effectively. When you get the program, or make it so you can adapt the program, change it so you can make it fit your life, fit you, help you be consistent with it. I mean, the best way you can say to stay consistent is make it fit you and make you enjoy it. So if you can, so when you download the program, make sure to make it yours and it'll make all of these things so much better and your goals will just come to you because you'll become the type of person that attracts them. Check the link in the description, get this program and have a look at the full 35 day transformation guide I've got below, giving you a full program to kickstart your journey. So much information, everything you'll need. It's highly rated, over five stars by over 17 people. Got great reviews as well. So go check that out. That'll be in the second link in the description. So there we go, that has been my new summer protocol video, full split, plus top tips and protocol hacks to get to achieve all the goals you want this summer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave a like. This is the exact program I'm going to be following this summer. I've already started it. I'm going to make a couple of videos in the future following up on this video, how it's going, some progress pictures, all of that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, join this journey. It's going to be crazy sharing everything I'm learning about becoming a better version of myself with you guys, better athlete, better creative. Come on, let's go. I'm motivating the doers.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.